Greetings, I'm Charlotte Ammons. I um, am in Belgrade uh, from Durham, North Carolina by way of Mount Olive, North Carolina, which is my hometown. Okay, cool. So tell me, Charlotte, uh, what do you think about uh, the Next Level project here, workshops? Uh, I've enjoyed Next Level mostly because of the people it's introduced me to, like beautiful, all the students and have been beautiful, the exchange has been wonderful, people have been gracious with their time and energy and like, you know, uh, their focus and when they come to class everybody's been like on point um, and just you know the commitment to not only hip-hop but the actual process of learning and taking uh, taking the time that we're spending together seriously has been amazing and it capped off tonight with like a really dope performance <laughs> now, yeah the performance was, sure. was great like yep. no one messed up it was perfect man. no it was it was moving it was beautiful yeah uh, okay so tell me like how did you uh, first get into MC um first I was a poet uh, poetry was my introduction to MC awesome. uh, I've uh, I have two collections of poetry out in the world awesome. um, so I was a part of the 90s hip-hop poet spoken word poetry scene and um, so we were like uh, in in Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, and Greensboro, North Carolina. A lot of like young black kids were all about poetry, like the resurgence of the black arts movement, and in in our own interpreta interpretations. And so we were like reading. We would go to readings and a step and like host readings all around the triangle. So we were just reading poetry to music, and. Um, I wanted. I really wanted to turn that into like a band situation. So I started writing lyrics and uh, fell in with like uh, some MCs who were like always like in the dorm room writing. And uh, from that, I fell in with like some jazz cats. And then from that, I fell in with some rock cats. So like, I just fell in love with like the actual making of music. So like. Um, in the dorm room, there would be dudes like making beats and stuff. In the clubs, there would be cats playing live music, and I would just be bouncing all around, just like trying to get as much of it as I can, as I could. And learn and yeah. Yeah, I was just I was just greedy. Awesome. Uh, tell me something about your group in Germany that you work with. Oh man. Uh, it's called uh, S Suki something. Like uh, Suki is yeah, Suki. a female MC yeah. based in Germany who uh, I met through um, my manager at the time because I was just interested in female rappers around the world and like uh, just curious like what other female rappers exist and what are they doing and what That's are they right. talking about so my manager sent me like emails with like a whole bunch of female rappers and I clicked on Suki's link and I was like oh shit <laughs> she's dope and I didn't know what she was saying she was rhyming in German but I knew she was dope <laughs> So, um, got with her, like, really enjoyed what she was doing, and, uh, we sent her an email asking her to, uh, participate in this remix we were doing of this song we did called Eating Out, and so she got down with that, and about the same time she was interested in coming to tour in the U.S., so I was like, well, you should come. So she came and toured with me, and so we did two tours together in the United States, like, the south of the U.S., um, we played South by Southwest in Austin, which is a big festival, and then we played Hopscotch Festival when she came back the second time. And then last month, uh, I went to Germany to tour with her as a part of uh, the Purple Velvet International Female Hip Hop Tour, awesome. which was her, me, and um, Lex LaFoy and DJ Doo-Wop out of South Africa. So it was an all-female hip hop tour. Nice, nice. That, that, that's pretty rare, man. No, it was rare, and, and people showed up because they were interested in, in seeing what we were doing, so it was great. Okay, so like, uh, two questions, one. Tell me uh, what's your next step and your message for the future MCs, including what? the MCs you worked here with in Serbia. Um, next step is, uh, I'm working on like a whole nother uh, record called Language Barrier, and it's hip-hop and singer-songwriter stuff, so I wrote all these songs, and I can't sing them, so I, you know, called on my friends, to sing them and but it has like it's interspersed with like hip hop parts so um uh this cat median from uh the foreign exchange is on it 
uh, my homegirl Amelia Meath from Sylvanesso. Suki's on it. Um, it's a whole bunch of different, the Indigo Girls are on it, so it's like a whole bunch of different genres coming together to like create this record. To create like something great. Yeah, like language barrier. We're trying to operate beyond genres, beyond borders. Um, and the last part of the question was the message that I... Yeah, just what's your message to the future well, MCs? Well, first, you know, I, I hope like all the MCs, um, dancers, writers that I met really understand the power that they have because not only they moved me to a point that was really humbling, I was just really moved by the commitment and the focus. So I was like, uh, I, you know, I really hope they understand that uh, in, in terms of building a scene here, it's about the power that they hold. I hope they look at what happened today at the performance and realize that it wasn't about me, it wasn't about Fable, it wasn't about B-Money, it wasn't about Diamond D, it was about them and the work that they put in. So trust the power that they have to create uh, a hip-hop scene here that is supported by the people that they love and the people that they, you know, um, reach out to. You, ha you, you know, I just want... Um, hip-hop was not created in a vacuum, so you have to create it where you are. Like, uh, so I just hope that that's understood from, from this experience. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you very much for My this pleasure. interview. Thank you. Uh, Enjoyed y'all so much. It's been great. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yo, my name's Charlotte. I bring you greetings from North Carolina. Big shout out to Hip Hop Life. Keep doing what you're doing. Peace. Thank you very much. Thank you.